What's up guys, everyone is here back with another Raid Shadow Legends video. Hopefully you guys are having a great start to your week. Well, it is Sunday, but hopefully you're going to be having a great week this week. If you're going back to work or if you're home, maybe you work from home. doesn't matter where you are in the world. I hope that today finds you doing well. So today we're going to be running into Live Arena. Hopefully we can get some wins today. I am free to play. If you haven't uh, been watching my channel, uh, this is my free to play main account. And we're hopping into Live Arena trying to push for Quintus. We are in gold two currently, and I have been upgrading some other champions here and there. Uh, last night or yesterday during the day, I actually got quite a few wins throughout the day. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven out of 10 wins yesterday that was playing off camera on my mobile device. Of course, some days I win a lot, and then some days I don't win many at all, but hopefully we can get some wins today. I'm going to try to mix up some champion use cases here in terms of like, for example, I recently built up my Hefrak. So, and I built up a couple other champions during champ training for the fusion. So Hefrak is now level 60. He is got full gear, but the gear is not maxed out. My game's loading a little slow. I don't know why. There we go. So I just need to finish upgrading his gear. He is in a one turn stone skin and his total stats right now. It'll be a lot better once the gear is maxed. He'll be at over 7,000 attack. He's 112 speed, so he's very, very slow. 97% crit rate. However, I don't know if I got masteries. I do have masteries on him. He doesn't technically need 100% crit rate, but I am shooting for 100% because of the fact that if he's the only champion on your team in live arena or in regular arena that's doing the damage, then you should probably put him in 100% crit rate so you can always land critical hits. So... Because this hit right here on his A1, it places an extra hit if it's critical. And also, if unless you basically hit the passive here, or hit this ability first before his passive kicks in, you actually have a chance of not getting a critical hit, right? Because you want the 30% increased crit rate. So some people opt to do 70% crit rate rather than full crit rate because of this ability. But if he's too slow and he doesn't get this ability off, then unfortunately you just might not be able to kill those tankier teams or teams in general if you weak or normal hit. So yeah, that's really, really impactful having 100% crit rate. So in terms of his gear, uh, I need to complete his, this piece right here, the attack weapon. I need to finish this one here, hoping to get speed on it. This one here, attack with double roll on attack percent. Crit damage, but there's no attack, which kind of stinks. But I think this is the only amulet that I have that's crit damage, surprisingly, for my demon spawn, which is crazy. I'm very surprised at that. And then for the last one, the banner. Attack with speed and attack, which it didn't roll great, but it is what it is. Chest plate, attack percent. We're hoping to re-roll this into attack percent. Crit damage with crit rate on the gauntlet. Attack percent. We're hoping to re-roll this into attack percent as well and go from there. So I'm going to try to use Hefrak in a few battles. Only issue is I don't have him fully mastered yet, so we're going to have to work on that. And then in terms of other champs that I've just built up, I'm probably not going to use them at all today, but I need to focus on upgrading them. And that is... So who did I upgrade? I upgraded this guy here, Suzerain Katoon. Probably not the best champion to upgrade, but I did upgrade him on my account. I also upgraded my Bystophis since he is a three-star awakened champion on my account. So I figured, you know what? I might as well upgrade him, even though I'm probably not going to get a ton of use case out of him. I'll find some areas, but for now, you know, I'll just let him like upgrade, sit in the vault until I can find a use case for him. And then in terms of the next people that I want to upgrade, hmm. I think I might upgrade Vol the Destroyer and I kind of want to upgrade this guy here, Euros, but I think I'm going to focus on somebody else first because I can already beat the Scarab boss, so I don't really need Euros the Soul Cage upgraded. Maybe I could even do Gurp Tuck Mossbeard specifically for Hydra, like normal or hard mode Hydra. Hmm. I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments down below. Who do you think I should upgrade next? I have all these five star champions that are level 50 ready to go. I even have King Garag, who I thought was kind of an interesting champion. He's in very old gear of mine. 
so it's not great gear so i'm probably just gonna chuck out a lot of this gear honestly and then i could upgrade a second bad l i could upgrade my pixneal which she's garbage but i could she does have an aoe freeze yeah so let me know in the comments who do you think i should upgrade next let's hop into live arena let's do this can we get some wins today i hope so i'm gonna go ahead and spend four additional tokens for you guys come on let's get some wins here we go here we go how are you guys doing in live arena yourself and have you fought me and if you have fought me what champions did you use to beat me or not beat me gl fly or gl fi i wonder what that stands for all right so we're gonna probably start off with in the beginning here most likely everybody starts with some Kong. that's just how it is he's a top meta champion in the game as a login champion which is pretty crazy so i'm probably gonna go with my duchess the only issue is this is more than likely a cc wukong but then again i could be wrong typically if it's a five star they're normally going to be a damage wukong because six star means you don't need any accuracy because it's a five star he needs accuracy to land the polymorph huh so more than likely it's a CC Wukong. Um, I think I'm still going to do this team here. You know what? I'm going to use my bolster Duchess. And then I'm going to go with the UDK so he doesn't take it. He might end up going with Arbiter for a speed increase and increase attack. Especially on champions like this. He did not. He didn't go with the Arbiter. Okay, so that's a good pick. I mean... I might he's he's got all polymorph so he actually could have he could be a damage a full damage wukong potentially it's not good for me i mean i may have to go with samson nobody typically uses samson so i'm gonna pick him last but the necrit's a problem for one he could put in speed last still hmm this is a tough one. I could go with... I have a feeling he could go with Tormund. Potentially. Let me go ahead and throw in a Elva. And... I'll throw in Makai... Actually, no. I'll throw in Samson. I won't pick him last. I'll, I'll go ahead and pick like my next Nuker last. So, Elva should help me out against Sun Wukong. But I don't know how to go up against that... Arima, right the second especially since she mitigates damage lazarius is big as well a reset from kaimar lazarius lockout reset from kaimar will wreck us he more than likely blocks my foley but i still feel like i have to take out their necrit yeah he blocked my foley i figured that would happen Honestly, Pytheon would have been the better option for me here if I knew he was going to go with Kaimar. Because then Pytheon could probably resist because he has high resist on my account. So, unfortunately, Elva doesn't have high resist. She only has like 450 resistance. And most Kaimars are 600 accuracy. So, yeah, there you go. Um, if that was my Pytheon, I possibly could have survived it. He could go full damage mode right now if he wanted to and try to kill us. But he decided to do increase attack, which means he's going to try to strip. He did not strip, which is actually good for me doing that AoE. That's actually his downfall right there. He should have just went with the A2 or A1 and then went back around on his abilities. But because he didn't do that, I can take a turn with Samsung because he woke me up. So we're going to go ahead and double hit and didn't do any damage because of strengthen so strengthen is definitely a big issue for me he can reset which he didn't did he not do the reset yet i think i can a1 for now he's gonna go ahead and change form most likely or he's gonna try to strip yeah there's the strip and a revive 
Okay, so he revives with a veil. It must be a Lazarius passive. That's got to be from Lazarius. I don't know Lazarius's abilities because I don't really care because I'm not going to get a mythical anytime soon. I guess I should care because I'm facing Lazarius up here, but it is what it is. He probably just whenever but whenever somebody revives, he probably just puts a veil on them. He's going to try to strip again. Oh, that's what he should have done the first time. He should have just did the sheep on my UDK. And now he's going to switch forms and lock us out because he can probably kill my Elva, which really sucks. And he puts an increased attack and increased crit damage on himself, which is insane. Yeah, lock out. Um, I mean, he's dead. If I can take out the... Nah, slept. Okay. Yep, that's over. Um... Uh... I don't know if I beat this. Double weak hit. I've got to get lucky here. I mean, if he has his A2, it's over. I could get lucky here. I could get lucky here. Come on. Let's go, baby. Oh my god, Samsung did it again, dude. Oh man. Oh, man. 25.2 million player power, dude. How does it feel with that Lazarius, man? How does it feel getting beat by a Samson that's locked out? Love it, dude. Love it, because you can't lock that passive. You can only lock out the active skills. Got that refreshing donkeys. Ready to go. They're not from Massachusetts, more than likely. You don't have a Duncan's near you? Sun Wukong. Again, everybody starts with that, so... I gotta get used to that, uh, where everybody typically takes a the first turn before me, or the first pick. And then I have to work around Sun Wukong a lot of times. Majority of the times, honestly. That's why I typically always pick UDK. These days. Alright, so who should I pick next? I think I'm gonna stick with my Duchess. Probably bolster Duchess. Again, the problem is if he picks Arbiter. If the other guy had Arbiter, he probably could have won. If he picks Arbiter, that's a big problem for me. But then again, I would I would kind of have to either ban Arbiter or ban Sun Wukong. But the thing is, when people put in Arbiter, they tend to have a Yumeko or a Warlord or someone who's going to do a lockout against me. And that's a big issue. So there's a Warlord right there. And he has Cardiel, which is ally attack. And uh, Sun Wukong does a really, really good job against ally attack. Um, we do have UDK, though, which is good. My Supreme Alhane, I would love to use her here. But the issue is she's very slow on my account. She's like 205 speed, maybe. So it's very, very slow without a speed up champion. Whereas my Samson is 227 speed or 230 speed. So he's much faster. I could go opt to go with banning maybe the Cardiel. I'm going to pick speed though. And then I'm going to pick. Actually, no. Let's just go ahead and do. Let's do Mithrala. Yeah, let's try out Mithrala. I haven't tried her in a while, actually. I haven't really utilized her much up here just because she's not in stone skin. She's not in bolster. So she's. She is bringing a little bit to the team where she can resist pretty much everything, including a Warlord. But the only thing that's helping me is the Petrification and the Cleanse against the Warlord if I don't ban him. And then if I ban Cardiel, I could potentially do the A2. So he did end up taking the Rhodos. So he put in Arbiter. So I figured maybe that that was going to be the case. I could end up banning the Rhodos plus two. And I could bring in someone else. Like maybe Eryx. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and bring in Hefrak. Let's try that out. Let's bring in Hefe. I did say I was going to try out Hefrak, so might as well try it, right? And I could... Uh, if I get locked out, which I most certainly will... Could do this and he bans my Hefe. No, he didn't ban my Hefrak. 
Okay. So we're going to go with... I could do defense or I could do speed. Probably going to go with speed. I don't really want to get locked out on anybody, especially my Samson, in case I need to come back with him. And to be honest, a Rodos can smack through Hefrax Stone Skin pretty easily. But let's see what happens, especially with the Cardiel ally attack. He can kill. He can most certainly kill my Hefrax if he wants to. Let's see what happens. No, he decided not to do that. He could easily strip my Stone Skin. My luck, it always gets stripped. And he didn't. He decided to sheep my Samson. Okay, that's not good. That is not good at all. Uh, hmm. I can't A2 right now because he put the block debuffs. I could strengthen. I don't want to lose my champion here, but at the same time... He hasn't used his A3 yet to steal everything, which he will. Oh, uh, man, that sucks. He's going to use his A3 right afterwards. He's going to go before my Hefrak. He can steal the increased attack as well, which I'm not going to let him do. Oh, that sucks. I went before his Sun Wukong. So that means he's going to kill me here. He's going to kill the Samson. If he kills the Samson or if he kills the Duchess, Hefrak does come and hit. Okay? Okay. Unfortunately, not enough damage there. That sucks. He's got the shield protected him a little bit. He didn't steal my, my stone skin, which is actually huge. Hold on. Can we still come back with just Hefrak? I don't know. I don't know if we can. Yeah, here we go. Let's try this out. Let's see how strong my Heffy is. Here we go. Oh, decent, but not strong enough. Um, of course, I'm going to get killed with the fear as well, so that sucks. We're going to get killed regardless. Yeah, GG's. Yeah, that was going to be an easy kill. I mean, Hefrak held his own for the most part, but um, unfortunately, we just didn't have enough damage to take out the Rodos. We, we probably could have survived if it was just the Cardiel and we took out the Rodos, but unfortunately, that Rodos was too powerful. Rodosers are very tanky. I mean, they, they're based off HP for damage, so they can survive really well, especially if they have War of the Fallen on. That's very strong as well. So, I mean, not much we could do there. We just didn't get lucky. Samson, he had him locked down, just kept killing him, and uh, my Sammy didn't even take a turn. So, big issue there. So let's see what we can do next. Let's see if we can hopefully turn the tables here. Again, three times in a row now where somebody picks Sun Wukong. And yeah, basically I'm always facing Sun Wukongs and having to figure out what to do. So I, I always end up tending to use UDK. I'm going to take the speed this time and see what he does. Probably going to go with Duchess if he doesn't take Duchess. He took Duchess and Sifi, so that makes it even worse for me. Um, yeah, that makes it way worse for me. Let me see. Hmm. Duchess mitigating damage, Sifi going fast. He's a level 85, which is interesting. Big spender, clearly. Let's go with this. And I think I'll go with Samson. Or I could go with. I could also go with something else. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll stick with this for now. And then I'll go fully last. Let's try the speed out. Speed game it is. He's probably going to ban my speed, to be honest. I'll ban his Sifi. He has triple... Does he have all stone skin? I wonder if he has all stone skin. I'm going to go with Foley. And... Or I could go with Ragash. Now, nah, let's go with Foley. Let's ban his Sifi. 
He's going to ban my speed, most likely. Unless he bans my Foley. No, he banned my Makage. Interesting. So he might actually have stone skin, potentially. I have fought a few different stone skin Sun Wukong, surprisingly enough. And they're kind of annoying because usually they're, they can go both ways, damage or CC with stone skin. But most people opt for CC and stone skin to try to sheep and go fast. And he's not in stone skin, so that's good for me. So I can just go right away. Try to kill the Rat King, which we did. That's actually huge. I think we won this one. Decrease his defense as well. Yeah, there's no way Staltus beats my Samson unless he can keep stunning him or something. Yeah, GG's. Yeah, there's no way. Uh, Foley comes in clutch there. Just going straight speed. All right, not bad. I wonder if today is going to be like a back and forth day for me. Win loss, win loss ratio. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Haka Taka. Let's do it, man. The Grim Fantasy. Now, I could take Sun Wukong, but... I've been going up against Sun Wukong so often now that I feel like I'm trying to purposely find ways to beat him. And I'm honestly happy that people are bringing Sun Wukong because I have so many ways to beat him now. He's going to go with the... Okay, interesting. So he's going to go Mikage, ally attacks. Does he have a Cardiel as well? It's possible. Possible he has Cardiel. The thing is with uh, Skull Crown is she is very, very weak in terms of defense. So she's not tanky at all. So I do have a six star Skull Crown as well in Crushing Rend. She has him in Cruelty, which is good too, because Cruelty did get a little bit of an upgrade since all the blessings are the same in regards to substats. I could go with a Lockout, but I don't think that's going to be necessary. I'll probably, in this case, just go for Tankiness. If he's just going to go with double ally attack, I'll go with tank and I'll go with Sun Wukong. I wasn't going to pick Sun Wukong, but now I am just because of the Skull Crown unkillable. So I want to make sure they don't get that unkillable. So he's going with tr potentially triple. He could go with triple ally attack. And let me tell you why this doesn't typically work. If he doesn't have another AOE champion like an Eryx which I could just take Eric's honestly, then he might not beat me because I can just take out Skull Crown. Because Skull Crown is, if they're under half health or if they're over half health, she does a second hit. Whereas Sinesha is, I think, under half health, she does a second hit. So if I just take out the Skull Crown, who is typically the harder damage dealer, I should be able to win this one. And... I can take the couple of ally attacks, probably. There's no reviver either, so... I mean, I can literally just do this for counters. Where's Eric's at? There she is. Yeah. I think we'll do this. More than likely, he'll just ban my... My, uh... Duchess, right here. And so... The only issue I'm going to have is if I get stunned multiple times. Bombs are not good. I can't cleanse bombs. But I have shields, so... Well, he may end up blocking my bomb still, right? I'm still going to go ahead and take out the Skull Crown. And he didn't block my Duchess. That's, that's where he failed here. I mean, he could still beat me with bombs, technically, but I think my bolster set is going to be fine. I'm pretty sure Lord Shazar is not going to have strong enough attack to land those bombs and kill us with just two bombs through bolster. Especially not on my Samson, that's for sure. He has way too much HP. The only thing he can do is metamorph and stun or weaken... So he unfortunately couldn't stun my Samsung because he's negative affinity against Samsung. So yeah, it's 
it's over here, I think. So she's now dead. Yeah, it's over. GG's. All right. And that's it. Yeah, unfortunately, just not enough damage. Just because I took out the Skull Crown, not nearly enough damage. Usually that doesn't really work up here in gold. Trying to play the ally attack game like that. Unless you have like Cardiel and Sun Wukong and a Rodos and then a Sifi. Then it's harder to pick and ban the right champion. Right? Because then you'd be like, okay, should I ban the Sifi? Or should I ban the Cardiel? Sifi because you don't want them to have the Rodos and Sifi pairing. And Cardiel because you don't want them to ally attack with Sun Wukong and Rodos. Right? So that's... That can work a little bit better in terms of mind games against your opponent. So yeah, that guy just unfortunately... I don't think anybody's going to win with a, a Skull Crown and a Sinesha. Or rather, I would hope that people aren't dumb enough to allow that to go through. Where they have multiple ally attacks with Sinesha and, and Skull Crown. So again, Sun Wukong. So we're going to go with... We're going to go with Speed... I think this round actually we'll take UDK and we'll take Duchess again slow Duchess bolster again I'm just basically using UDK all the time now he's kind of my crutch especially since everybody uses Wukong so that's kind of his only uh, kryptonite if you will so they got Ah, uh, that's a lockout. That's not good. And he has protection with Necrit. So that's a bit of a problem. Mm. Protection with Necrit. Warlord. He can still do speed. I could do speed too if I wanted to. Or I could just bring in Uko. He doesn't have Polymorph, which is nice. But he could bring in speed on his own. So that could be a problem. I think I'll just bring in my champion here, Makage, instead. Or I could bring in Pytheon. I'm just going to stick with Makage. See if I can get it to work. I think my Makage would end up being faster than his Warlord. But then again, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. We'll see what happens. He does have the commanding presence on there. So that's a little bit of a problem. Hmm. Samson, I'm definitely going to use him again. Hefrak strong, but I think I need to get the mastery for Helm Smasher in order to beat him. Okay, this is a problem. If he if he bans my Duchess, we're probably going to die against the Leorius. And I kind of have to block the warlord on this one uh well maybe i don't have to maybe i can just block yeah he's probably gonna block my foley now that i think about it if i just block here i won't have a reviver if he blocks my duchess like his smartest move would be to block the duchess i think my smartest move is to block the Leorius because I have counterattacks with my Sa Samson. Okay, so he didn't block the Duchess. I mean, he can lock out my Foley still. Probably, a, I'm going to assume it's a damage dealer Wukong. It's hard to tell nowadays if they're damage dealers or pseudo champions. It's really difficult. All right, so he is going to lock right away. We're going to counterattack. And we're just going to keep counterattacking, basically, with my Samson. And hope we can survive through counterattacks. Counterattacks and A1s. We got the Cruelty Blessing at 3-star now on Samson, which does a lot more with decreasing their defense every single time. And I think it decreases up to 20% or up to like 15% right now at level 3. That's not bad. Decreased attack on my champion is not good. He's going to protect his warlord. He's going to actually buff and heal, probably. Yep. So there's the buff and heal. Go here. 
Doesn't have a cleanse, but he can go ahead and just A1 and fully heal the Warlord. Yep. Okay. So, I mean, we'll see what happens. Let's go ahead and do this to decrease everybody's defense. Get a little bit of damage on the Necrit. He is protecting too, so that means he's going to take more damage. Does he do his big ability? And does he CC? Yes. So it looks like he's mostly CC. I think I have like 500 resistance on my UDK. So it seems like he's not a super heavy hitting damage dealer for a Wukong. So I'll probably, most likely I'll win this one if I play my cards right. So let's see what happens. Does he have the cleanse? Nope. All right, let's go here. Keep decreasing that defense on the Necrit, especially if he's going to put protections. And he's going to try to keep on pounding away. I thought he was going to keep on going at Duchess, but I guess not. He's probably going to try to kill my Foley. Then I can revive him. Does he have his lockout again? Yeah, he does. That sucks. <clears throat> I felt like I was in a sheep for like 10 turns right there. That was kind of crazy. We're getting really close to killing this Necrit, which is big. He might have the heal again, though. Yeah, it's a, that's a big heal. That's a savior type heal right there. So lucky. So, so lucky. Ally attack into my Duchess. Yeah. We actually might lose this because of the, the heals from Warlord. Just not doing enough damage, unfortunately. He's got the cleanse. No cleanse. He's going to do the A1 to heal. Okay, we'll see what happens. I mean, if we get lucky, maybe. He can A1 or A2, actually. GG's. So he is a damage dealer. Holy schmoly. Sheesh. All right. I honestly thought I was going to be able to do fine if I could get around that Warlord. But unfortunately, I couldn't kill the Warlord. I couldn't stun him. Let's do five more battles here. So it's going to be a back and forth game, it seems. I honestly thought I'd be fine with just banning the Leorius. Wow. Neckard is very, very strong, too, with the protections. I wish I had a Necrit, but unfortunately... I do not. All right, let's do the six star Wukong. Fantastic. Let's go like this with Pytheon instead. I got a lot higher resistance on my Pytheon, and I can run him as a resistance lead. He's got Hefrak as well with Duchess. Gamoran, I mean, I guess I will use Foley. I'm just going to throw in Foley and see what he picks next. Does he have a Necrit? If he has Necrit or Yumeko or Warlord, I don't know if I can win. I mean, I'll definitely go first, but... So he has Rhodos, which means he's probably going to ban UDK. Maybe I just go with Bombs? I mean, I think I just ban the Duchess or the... Sun Wukong. Probably the Duchess. Yeah. I can go with resistance or I can go with attack. I'm going to go with attack. I do feel like I'm going to lose though just because he's going to have more speed than me. Which is what really sucks. I mean I do have the UDK. But the Hefrak if he's fast enough will win. Stone skin Hefrak. So... If I can survive the hit, the AoE. Oh god. Oh god. I'm lo I'm gonna lose. Alright, not good. Not good at all. Weak hit, weak hit, weak hit, weak hit, weak hit. Not quite, but he stole my strength and of course. Decreased my accuracy, which is not good. Uh, 
Okay. He's dead. He's gonna kill me, though. I'm dead. How could you not take a turn, dude? Alright. He didn't have his- he didn't get an extra turn, so that's good. But... I still think I lose here. He's gonna steal. Yep. Very high accuracy, Wukong. 700 plus accuracy. Let's try to see if we can kill this Rodos. Oh, dude, come on, man. Super high accuracy. I don't know if we're going to be able to kill him. He stunned me? What? That's so lucky. That is so, so lucky. Holy crap, that's lucky. I just got wicked lucky there. Oh my god, that was so lucky. Holy crap, dude. That Wukong was putting in work. GG's, damn. Phew! Oh man, this is a roller coaster of a ride right now. Andreevsky. Let's do it. Heroes of Olympus. Oh, the bombs worked. We're in gold too, and bombs worked. All right. So, again, everybody picks Sun Wukong. I think it was like a 100% chance that someone's going to pick a Sun Wukong first. Because most players, if they have Sun Wukong, are likely going to have a 3 to 5 star or even 6 star blessing on them. So, who do I want to use this time against Sun Wukong? I mean, I'm probably going to still use Foley. Probably going to go fast again. I think I need, I'm still going to go ahead and opt to pick Pytheon. And UDK first. I know some people are going to be like, whoa, how are you? Why are you picking Pytheon and UDK first? And it's like, well, a lot of people have Pytheon and a lot of people have UDK and most people pick Sun Wukong. So I want to make sure I take a lot of times people end up putting their Pytheon with their Sun Wukong as well. So if like I put an Elva, Pytheon is positive affinity against Elva. Right, so she's not going to do strong hits against him at all. So if my damage dealers get killed, and it's Elva versus Pythion, well, she's not positive affinity against Pythion, but she is faster. So let's see, who do I want to use? Definitely Sunny. I guess I'll go speed. I guess I'll go speed. We'll use Samson. Yeah. So Taras. Wait, this is a weird team. Zavia. I don't think I've ever fought a Zavia up here before. Hmm. I'm going to go Foley. Take out Taras. He's probably going to ban my speed. No, he banned my uh, Foley. Okay. So we'll take a turn. This should be a Dubski. I should be able to just smash him down with my Samson. I mean, unless everybody's in stone skin... He does have everybody in stone skin. Oh, wow. See, that's what I'm saying. Sometimes I face people with stone skin. That are Sun Wukong. It's just so random. I'm going to save my... Um, my cleanse. He decided not to do the cleanse. Okay, because I say... Or not to do the, the strip. The buff... Did he only do that because I didn't cleanse? I'm just going to AoE now. Decrease their defense. And he can uh, do the block passive if he wants. I'm surprised he didn't do that first. Wait a minute. He still hasn't used his block passives? I think he's only doing it because I'm not using the cleanse ability. So now that I'm using the cleanse ability, he's probably going to do the cleanse here. And now he's going to do the cleanse or the strip with uh, the Ramantu as well. 
I'm just going to A1 for now. Well, actually, no, he already used a buff strip. No, he didn't. Okay. I thought he did. So he's dead. What is she going to... I mean, she can do the big hit to try to kill me. Yes, let's go. We actually didn't die. I'm going to speed up to make sure I can get a turn. I'm going to try to take out Sunny again. Focus on her. Now he can do the block passives if he wants. Whoa, he's a damage dealer. That is a damage dealer, Ramantu. Okay. Now we can use the A2 since everybody's cleared. Unfortunately, let's see if we can get the kill. Oh! Big damage. Unfortunately, I block passive, so I might lose. Oh, I could win. No, maybe not. Maybe not. If he doesn't have his A3, maybe I win. Let's go. Okay, I can win this. Sammy! Let's go! Oh, Samson, man. Samson putting in the work. Look at all those plus ones, huh? Let's go. We're climbing. We're climbing. Samson putting in the work. Come on, baby. All right. Let's keep doing this, though. Here we go. Here we go. So, again, I'm just going to... I'll let him have this Sun Wukong. A lot of times when I pick Sun Wukong, they counter me easily. So, I opt to do the counter preferably if they... Just right off the bat. Just because UDK is going to counter Sun Wukong. It's also going to counter Rotos. And he's going speed, so I could throw in a Torment as well if I wanted to. So what I'll do is I'll go with Bolster Duchess. And I, I just opt to go second these days because it's just too hard with my speed teams. They're too slow. They're really weak. They're not tanky. It wouldn't allow me to click confirm. It had like a white screen. It's been happening recently. I don't know why. All right, let's do this. Hopefully he doesn't have Marichka Taras. That would suck. A lot of times I tend to ban the Taras just because he does so, so much damage and he mitigates so much damage as well. So I can't, I can't really compete against Taras. Yeah, so Taras is a problem. I'm probably going to ban Taras. He's going to go fast. He's got damage, two damage, actually three damage dealers right now. I've got to go with Samson. And I've got to go with Ragash, I think, for this one. So he does have a cleanse, except it's Elva instead. Yeah, cleansing, protecting your Wukong. This is going to be a tough fight. This is going to be a very tough fight. I think I still banned the Taras, though. He did ban the Tormund like I expected. I think I'm going to go with speed just in case. Yeah, this is going to be a hard, hard, hard fight. Because Elva is positive affinity against Samson. You get a lot of weak hits with Samson against Elva. And she just tanks it like a boss. He's going to go first. He's going to do damage. He might even lap me, possibly. The only positive I have here that's going to save me, it's my saving grace, is UDK. So if UDK can tank a few hits from Sun Wukong and maybe tank some hits, some single hits from the Harima, then I could potentially win this. And I wonder if he does. No, he, he, he decided to go to speed. I was thinking he was going to go try to do the strip, but he didn't. Uh, she's going to speed up. Instantly places the veil, which mitigates damage as well. Luckily, we didn't get cleansed there. That's huge. We didn't get stripped of our stone skin. She's going to AOE. Okay. I'm actually surprised that she did the AOE right away. I thought she would do like the triple hit into my Duchess, but she's probably going to save it until the next turn. I can still cleanse with my Pytheon though. So that's not a huge deal for me. And then I can AOE with my son, uh, Samson. So I think I end up winning this. Yeah. So, I mean, I still have to be careful because she can revive. Yep. So there's the revive there. Um, he did already use his A3 with Sun Wukong. 
So I'm just going to save her ability, the A2, the Veil. A1. Sun Wukong comes back to life. And now we've got to focus on... So Sun Wukong's got the A2 available. I still have the Strengthen. She revives, increases attack and speed again. Or should be able to, I think. Yep. Okay, so Sun Wukong can now do the A2. Or he does A1. A2, so he's a CC Wukong as well. Everybody has like a pseudo damage dealer Wukong these days. And with the Blessing Rebalance, it's much easier to get more accuracy on him than ever before. So that's kind of cool. Alright, two seconds left. Does he have the cleanse again? Or the um, the buffs? No. Uh, it's a tough one. I think I'll just take out the Arbiter again. She can triple hit into my Duchess or my Samson. Probably Duchess. If I was her, I'd go into Duchess. Let's see what he does. No, he opted to go into Pythion. Interesting choice. He's only got the A1 right now. Unless he got a refresh proc. Okay. I mean, I think I could win this if I get my abilities back from Samsung next turn. Hopefully. He's probably going to do the A3 with Sun Wukong next. My UDK is going to come back in a second from the Sheep. So I do have a high probability of winning this one. I think I have a high probability. If I take out the Sun Wukong now... Oh, nice. I do have the ability back. That's what's up. GG's. It's over. I mean, unless he can survive. One, two, three. He might take a turn, actually, with Sun Wukong and kill us. I can't say it's over yet, because he could come back, take a turn, kill UDK with the A2, and then wipe us out. Unless his A2 is not available, then we will win. So he decided to revive the Sun Wukong. He probably thought the Veil was going to go on Sun Wukong. I assume. I'm just going to A1 and try to heal up my UDK, get as much health as possible. So he's going to A2 and hopefully get the win. Here we go. Come on, survive this. Survive this massive hit. Here we go, here we go, Sage. What do you got, Sage? You got this, bro. No, he doesn't have the A2. Okay. It's definitely over for him then. GG's. Samson with the win yet again. This is why I use Samson all the time. Best uh, champion on my account for a damage dealer. So tanky. A lot of counterattacks. Keeps me alive for a long period of time. He's hard to kill. So that's why I use him. And I really, really wish I actually got Fatalis, Blade Master. Although people say he's bad, he doesn't do a lot of damage. But he's, he's good for survivability for the long battle. That's why I like him. Also, he has a 35% HP aura or 40% HP aura in all battles. So I put him in the lead and it's going to help my Samson stay alive longer and do more damage because of the HP in all battles. I wish I got him, but unfortunately I don't. So this guy's starting off with... My game's not working. I don't know if you guys are able, even able to hear me talk through my OBS. Okay, well, uh, the game just picked for me. Um, my computer completely just froze and I don't know what's happening today. Not sure if there's something going on with my internet connection or what, but uh, yeah, it's really wonky right now. That's really weird. Well, I mean, it, it did do a couple of decent picks for me. UDK Pythion again, but I think I'm going to need to go with banning the Warlord still. He does have a Duchess. I could go with Foley. But then again, the Harima mitigates so much damage. Let's go with speed. Let's go with speed for now. 
He could end up opting to bring in Tormund as well. I'm going to take that risk. I haven't fought a Tormund yet today, but he could put in a Tormund. He could also put in potentially a Mortu Macabre, which could hurt us as well. So we want Rodos, okay. I think I'm going to ban his... I th I'm leaning towards the Warlord or the Duchess. The Rodos is a problem too, though, not going to lie. I think I'm just going to go with the Rodos now that I think about it. Nice. Perfect. That was actually a perfect pick. I mean, he's not, he can lock me out if he has stone skin, but if he doesn't have stone skin, I could just go and focus on his warlord and kill him. I figured he was going to try to keep that warlord and go for the Rodos, take out my UDK. So just a good pick for me. So let's go for him, cheap him right now. Take it. I was hoping to just kill him, but it's all good. Let's just go for the AoE and save the A3 so we can get back around to that AoE as quickly as possible. We're just going to sort of slowly use that Cruelty Blessing to our advantage, decrease the defense of the champions. Of course, with Harima, she increases her defense over a course of time throughout the battle, and we want to decrease her defense. So we're going to go with the Weaken. And hopefully we can do some damage. Maybe we can even steal the stone skin from Duchess. If we do, that would actually be insane. Oh, I got sheeped, you son of a gun, dude. I got sheeped. All right, well, he's going to cleanse. Well, well, uh, GG's, I guess, huh? That sucks. He's going to lock me now. Ah, all because of a sheep. Couldn't really do any damage. Because because he sheeped, he didn't actually do his damage. Yeah, that was detrimental to this fight. The lockout and the sheep, yeah. AoE, he's going to kill my Arbiter. Yep. Luckily, we were able to get the counterattack with Samson. He's got a big heal. Big revive coming. There's the revive. We got to get our Sun Wukong back. And of course, we couldn't get him back. So, uh, two-turn Sheep is just insane. Hopefully, I can heal up a bit. It's not looking good. It's not looking good. He's going to get a triple hit from his champion here in Harima. A triple hit will kill me, of course. Even a single hit killed me. Jesus. No increased defense. Just increasing her defense over time. Again, my Sun Wukong was out of the battle the entire fight. And that's super detrimental for us. Can't believe that happened, honestly. Kind of insane. Hmm. It's very unfortunate. That's just an unlucky battle. I mean, if we can survive... He's going to get the lockout again, so it's too bad. Yeah, it's really too bad. Man, oh man. Yeah, that sucks. Lockout. And then... Yeah, that sheep killed us. That sheep won the, him the game. take a turn before Harima? Probably not. Probably not. I doubt it. Oh, wait, we did, but it doesn't matter. He's going to lock us out again. Or he's going to heal. And she's definitely triple hitting. 
Yeah, she's gonna triple hit, kill me, and it's over. What? Huh? How did he not die? Hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. Ah! Oh. Ah, oh, counterattack killed me. Alright, I was gonna say, I was gonna say, uh, if I could kill one of them, then maybe we'd be good, but... Yeah, unfortunately. It's, it's over. Too good to be true here. Lock out again. If it's locked, then it's over, yeah. See, that, that, that sheep absolutely ruined me. Two-turn sheep? That crushes it. Well, that sucks. I mean, not much we can do. Warlord locking us down with the sheep. Yeah. Bahura, let's do it. Start off with UDK. Sun Wukong and Arbiter. That's what I'm going to guess right here. Let's see what happens. Who else could I use? I mean, I could bring in Rhonda. <laughs> did I guess it or did I guess it? I mean, it's it's like clockwork. All right. Sun Wukong, Arbiter. He's going to go as fast as possible. Try to nuke down with a Wukong. I will bring in Bolstered Duchess. And... Wukong is definitely a problem for sure. I could go Pytheon as well. I'm going to go with uh, Tormund and Foley. Well, ooh, Georgian. I think he's going to go triple damage. You know, let's just bring in Tormund. Tormund Samson. If he has a cleanser last, then like a Mithrala. Maybe I ban, ooh, a plus two Kandrophon six star. That's dirty. I'm going to risk it. Oh, dang it. Should have banned the uh, Georgian. Yeah, we lost this one. <laughs> too much damage, too much damage. So he doesn't have the ally attack revive on death, but... My UDK does not survive a hit from this George with increased attack, that's for sure. Maybe, maybe if I'm lucky and I get the reaction proc. But I only have one reaction piece. I could counterattack and kill his Wukong. Stun is actually better because we want him to be low health, right? He's probably going to do the buffs, yep. Which is, gives him more damage mitigation. He did the AoE instead. Wait a minute. That that actually helps me more. That helps me way more. He's going to have to speed up. Oh, wow. I actually might win this one. Okay. GG's. <laughs> Sun uh, Samson, baby. I was going to say Sun Wukong. Samson, baby. So, uh, yeah. That was, a, that was a quick one. See, the thing is with the speed champs is like... If I can take a turn, it's pretty much over. So how do we do? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven wins, three losses. Seven for tens, not bad. You know, that's actually pretty good. It's actually pretty good. We got 1,845 crest tiers. Uh, let's take a look at, I'm actually ranked 49, 49. So a little bit past the 5,000 threshold mark for players in the world. And let's take a look at the area bonuses. Can I upgrade anything here? I probably want more crit damage. Resistance would be nice. Accuracy would be nice too, actually. Because a couple of my champs aren't always hitting the accuracy threshold perfectly. Or because sometimes the heads are resisting. So I need like 380 accuracy. So... I think that just getting a couple upgrades here will be perfect. So that should be enough. 32 additional accuracy is not bad. And then for damage dealers, I probably want... Well, these cost 1,000 at level 4, 600 at level 2 to 3. All right, so I can't upgrade any more there for Hydra, but that should be fine. A little bit more accuracy. I could opt to go a little bit further, but I think I'm just going to stay here. 
and we'll call it a day. Seven wins, three losses is not bad at all. I like it. Let me go ahead and showcase to you my Samsung build for those interested in Samsung who love watching me use Samsung. He is my rock. He is so freaking good. And I know he doesn't get enough. He doesn't, he's super underrated and people just say he's trash all the time, but I've found plenty of use cases for him where he survived and won multiple battles for me. So for me, he's at 114,000 HP, 3,500, almost 3,600 on the defense, 227 speed, 258 crit damage, but he does place the increased crit damage 30% on himself. So that'll get him up to 200 and what, 280 crit damage, right? And then I have ability to grow him a little bit more here. So upgrades here would get him two more crit damage to 260 crit damage, HP here, HP here. And then here we've got defense, I think on the helmet for the Ascension. And I want to reroll that eventually. Once I farm more Sand Devil, I'm pretty dry right now on the oils. So I will continue farming Sand Devil too. I might even just keep it at defense too. I mean, it's, it's totally fine the way it is, but preferably with more HP is going to do more damage, right? Got HP percent here on the Ascension, speed on the Ascension here, and crit rate here because he does need the crit rate. He's at a little bit overboard on the crit rate, but it is what it is. If I take off the crit rate though, he'll be at under by 4%, which I don't want. So maybe if I get better gear pieces during the next Dark Fae rotation, I could potentially switch this out, but the speed is huge with HP and defense. Preferably I'd want HP percentage, but it is what it is. So yeah, that's my Sammy. He is a baseline plus three, or not plus three, three star awakened. If he was plus three, that would be insane. But overall, I think that as time goes on, I'm going to upgrade this guy. He's going to get way, way stronger. He's going to be able to get up to 130 plus thousand HP. And he's just going to be demolishing people. And again, I really wish I got Fatalis Blade Master from that event, but I just couldn't do it. I don't have the resources to do that on this free to play. So it is what it is. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you do enjoy my channel and watching me, I just want to say thank you so much. I really appreciate you all for supporting me throughout my raid journey and career here. Uh, this is kind of a hobby that's developed for me over time over the last couple of years of doing youtube so i just wanted to thank you all again for subscribing and please consider subscribing to the channel for more videos and content like this thanks so much again take care